Hello Minecrafters, this is Etho again. And we got another good episode here for you. As you can see, I've redone the passive mob spawning pads. Uh, don't really know how well they work yet, because I just recently did it. And I don't know how well you can see it, but it's a little bit complicated. It's kind of similar to the hostile uh, spawning pads. And then in the center I just got a whole load of signs to prevent the water from spilling over. But I think it works good. Uh, I'll probably uh, release a new download to my world, and if you guys want a closer look, you can check it out by downloading my world. And I think the chicken separator works perfect. I haven't seen any uh, mobs get stuck in the water. I kind of think that cow got stuck because it landed on a chicken last time. Because I haven't seen that happen again since. Look at that brave cow. What are you doing over here? Of course I lag every time I come here. Chickens are up there. But, uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try get a pig separator going here. And we've got to route all the items to this point here. This is a collection tube. We're not going to build a minecart gate up here. We're going to build it down lower to save space. Because it's a little bit cramped on this level. So... Let's get going here. Uh, so, the information on the Wikipedia isn't quite accurate for the sizes of the animals. But basically, to get pigs separated, they are uh, one block tall, while sheep and cows uh, are larger than that. So... You basically just need to force them through a one block hole, one block high hole. And the best way of doing that, I think, is to use a diagonal stream of water. Somehow. Um, and I haven't practiced building this or anything, so it's I'm just trying to make it up on the fly here. Let's uh, move this block in one. We kind of want a sharp angle. Okay. So we're going to have that part covered. And... So it's going to be one block high here. And that's where the pigs should get pushed through. Uh oh. Hopefully. And the rest of the mobs are going to just continue down the line. 
You gotta be careful not to cover this up. So I think I'm gonna try it like this. I'm gonna have to test this off camera though, because it's gonna take a while for the pigs to spawn. So I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm gonna watch it for a while. And then we might make some changes. Okay, this is looking pretty promising. You'll notice there's only pigs outside here. And there's cows and sheep in the center part here. I don't know exactly what happened. I went away for a while and when I came back, this is how it, how it was. There's pigs everywhere. So I think it's working already. Uh, I made a couple slight changes. So these guys were made it so they can't get out. While the pigs could get out. Alright, clear the area. Best part of my job. Die. Okay, so I made a couple slight changes. Well, actually, pretty much only one. Why can't I be screwed? Yeah, so it looks like it's working pretty good. Uh, basically, I got rid of that second water source because I guess the water currents were clashing with each other. So I just have the one right in the corner here. And starting from this point, get out of the way. Starting from here, the pigs can start going under, and it's diagonal stream all the way up to here. So once the pigs get in this area here, then you would uh, collect them together to another one wide tube, and they will be separate from the system. So I think I'm going to go ahead and build this out of glass now, because I'm pretty happy with it. I think there's something wrong with my mouse, or else it's a glitch in the game, but every time like I try to pick up stuff and it instantly gets placed down again. Okay. Well, that didn't take long. Oh yeah, and I don't claim credit for any of this stuff. Like, it's not really my invention or anything like that. A lot of people have given me tips about how I could do this. Uh, one guy in particular uh, made a video of how to separate the mobs and it was very nicely done. Unfortunately I don't... Uh, I can't find the video otherwise I would post it. I think the guy's name started with an E if I remember right. And people have been making passive mob separators for a long time now. But at the same time, I'm not uh, directly copying anything. Just going off the concepts that uh, you can separate chickens using gravity and water. And separate pigs using a one block high opening with a diagonal water stream. Ok, 
Okay. Yeah, there's something wrong with my mouse, I'm sure. Hmm, how should I do this? Okay, give me a second. I'm going to think about this a little bit. Okay, so what I was thinking about is... Uh, you know, normally in my systems, I don't like to have any dead zones. But I don't think it's uh, really avoidable with uh, the pigs. Because... Like, hostile mobs, the tall mobs, are two blocks high. Spiders are four blocks, uh, two by two, you know. But pigs, they are one by one, basically. So to have no dead zones, uh, you, I think you pretty much need to have a mob that is at least two blocks in size. Unless, like right where this cobblestone is here, if I was to drop it down one layer, and then place water, uh, there would be no dead zones because the water's running the full length. But I don't really want to do that just because it'll make things... Oh man, my mouse is messed up. It'll make things uh, a little bit more difficult. I kind of want it all level. So I'm just going to place a pressure plate here. That's the dead zone. And hopefully everything will be okay still. So this is where the two branches off. And we're just going to make it small just to make sure it works first. I'm pretty sure the pigs will have no problem walking that one block space. And then there'll be another water stream, you know, right next to it. Alright, so only pigs should be able to make it to this point. And it'll be easy to deal with them from here on because it's a one one wide by one high. Um, next thing. Uh, we should probably figure out what we're going to do with the chickens here. I think just for now I'm going to remove this uh, water. Oh, maybe I can't. So running at this, uh, the water the full length helps to make sure that the pigs actually go through this gap. Because in the one video I saw that was a problem he was having, that sometimes the pigs would just go past the diagonal stream and end up with the cows and the sheep. Okay, so what should we do here? I kind of want to bring the chickens over to the collection point. Oh, here's a pig. Uh oh. Oh, he didn't go through, why not?
Hmm. Okay, it doesn't look like it's working perfectly. I wonder if we have any more pigs up there. Okay, uh, one thing I'm going to try here, I don't know if uh, chickens can swim up. Oh, I can't place anything on these. I'm going to place some pressure plates here. I'm going to place the water streams back. And then I'm just going to have a little... Uh, upwards uh, water section here. And this is just to see if the chickens will swim up. Because I'm not sure if they do. They probably do. So I'm going to uh, watch that and I'll let you guys know. <laughs> oh, it's madness. I'm still waiting for chickens. I just keep eating pigs. I think I'm getting... Oh. We got chickens. We got chickens. see what's going on here. Oh, they're stuck on the pressure plates. That's not good. Oh, man. See, we have that problem with chickens, too. We can't really prevent dead zones because they're only one by one as well. The thing is, though, with mobs, once they do this, like where they get stuck on a pressure plate, I don't think they'll ever move. They'll just keep jumping up and down forever. So that's kind of a big issue, because I don't want that happening. <laughs> Man. Oh man, see, again, that's why I don't like dead zones, because they get stuck. And it's not just because it's a pressure plate. They do that if it's a sign and other things, too. Because they can't see through the block. Okay, I'm going to do some more thinking, I guess, hopefully. Okay, so not a whole lot of progress with the whole thinking thing, but I do think I know how I'm going to do the chicken setup. Uh, so you can see in there, I removed the two water source blocks, there's only one in there now, in that corner, which is in diagonally towards this one wide tube. And the water is going to flow all the way up to this door here and be sus suspended by a sign. Okay. Uh, this is all going to be covered. And let's see if this works. So I got to remove this quickly and place a block so we don't lose our. Oh, that was terrible. Okay, so this is like our chicken storage. So they're going to lay eggs when they're like that. And then the eggs are going to drop through this water.
into a stream below. And then that stream's gonna run towards this point here and drop the eggs down. And then the option is gonna be controlled by this door. If this door is open, the chickens are going to go to a killing chamber which will harvest their feathers. And then the feathers will get rooted to the collection point. And it's kinda going off to the left here. So it's out of the way. I got the pigs going to the right, and then the other guys are probably going to go over here someplace. Ah, we got our first egg. Uh, I guess we should probably make the stream... Oh, it's going to go down at least one. place a sign here temporarily and place water so that should uh, move the eggs to wherever we want them to go uh, so we're gonna try open the door here to make sure the chickens can get through that getting stuck on the door hinge and there's gonna be another pipe here Sorry if it's hard to see what's going on. I know I'm using all glass. It's kind of hard to see exactly what I'm doing. It's hard for me to... Okay, we're just going to place soil here temporarily. This will be the source of our next water stream, and there'll probably be a pipe that goes above and then to the left. This will be covered. Oh yeah, it can't cover above it. Gotta cover it there. Here and here. Oh, and here. Ouch. And yeah, we're on peaceful again because of the hostile mobs making noise. Why did I do that? Now I can't open the door. Uh, need a lever. So hopefully, when they go through, they'll go through the door and into this water here. That's the goal. stuck in the door and this guy's not going <coughs> well, at least the egg works the egg system hmm Okay, so that's not going to work. So instead, I'm probably going to have to hook up a my cart gate somehow. Because I think that's the only way of doing this properly. And then make the chickens drop through the my cart gate. Somehow. 
And the pigs, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. So I'll probably just tweak around with this, guys, and then I'll show you what I figure out, because I have a feeling it's going to take a while. Because there's lots of uh, minor issues showing up everywhere. Okay. Um, got a little bit of progress done this episode. But I'll have to figure some things out. And I'm going to end it here. And thank you for watching. And hopefully I'll get this uh, working better next time. I make an episode, and if not, we'll go do something else, like another trip or something, okay? Alright, thanks for watching. See ya.